Job 28, verse 28. And, and unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. The fear of Yahweh Bashim Shai, that is wisdom, man. All right, it is the wisest thing you could possibly do on this earth is to fear the Heavenly Father. And Shah went into all the reasons why you should. He's the omnipotent power. He can fold you like a prince. Literally have your toes curl back into your body, man. You know? This, this is the power that we're dealing with, man. So to fear him, that is the wisest thing you could possibly do, man. What else, bro? Kind. And to depart from evil is understanding. What do you understand? That if you don't depart from the evils, which is contrary to the ways of God and Bible, right? Eating shrimp, crab, pork lobster, being a homosexual, transgender, bestiality, all the things that this world promotes and puts on a high pedestal, right? If you don't depart from that, right, the understanding is that you're going to be put to death, man, you know? You know, the Lord is going to, the Lord's openly going to kill you, man, you know? So to have wisdom is the fear of the Lord, which is going to cause you to obey what he told you to do, you know? So then what? You're not going to, go back to the last person you just had, man? Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, so you're not going to move in haste, all right? Because you fear the, uh, the, uh, the repercussions, so to speak, man. To move on wisely, you know? Read that one more time, the last yeah. part. Sirach, continue, uh, continuing on in verse 2. And make not haste in time of trouble. Uh -huh. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. That you may be increased at thy last end, man. All right? That the Holy Spirit may be increased in you, man. Okay? You know, that's if you endure and keep on fighting. All right, what's the, that's the elect of the nation of Israel, starting with the 144,000 believers, man. You know, nah, nah. This is James 1, verse 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. Mm. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. That's right. Which the Lord have promised to them that love him. That's right. And it said to endure, which means to fight. You got that temptation, because you got those who when that hour of temptation comes, they're gonna fall, they're gonna roll over. But the elect, they're gonna they're gonna fight against it, man. They're not gonna uh give in unto the uh to the temptation, man. And you got a crown of life if you uh if you're gonna if you do this uh these things, so to speak, man. Which is that's the elective nation of Israel, man. All right, brother, I know you can go to this. <laughs> Ready? Yep, yep. Uh, this is Sirach, chapter 1, verse 14. It says, To fear the Most High Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. Uh -huh. And it was created with the faithful and the womb. Mm, no, read that one more time, brother. This is, this, <laughs> is Sirach, this is Sirach, or Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 14. Uh -huh. To fear the Most High Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. Is the beginning of wisdom. Okay. All right. The fear of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Come on, come on. The fear of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Is the beginning of wisdom, man. Okay, all right. You know, keep on reading, bro. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. It was that was a gift ultimately to the faithful, the the believers from the womb. All right, because the Lord ordained those to believe in Him from the womb, just like He says in Jeremiah. You get that Jeremiah one, you know, because you know, Jeremiah was a man, Lord. He was a prophet. Okay, all right. But he was ordained, all right, to do the the will of the heavenly Father from the womb. Okay, you know. And Lord's will we be a part of the elect, you know, that we be the same men that are there was ordained from the womb. Hold that screen, bro. We'll get this and come back. Yep. Jeremiah 1 and 5. I'll start at 4. Then the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shine, came unto me, saying, uh -huh. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. That's right. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, mm -hmm. and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. All right. And Lord's will we be a part of the elect. That we're in that same stead that Yahweh Bashim El Shai ordained us from the from the beginning, man. All right. The Lord said He knew you, knew us before we was even in the womb, man. All right. You know, and we want to be uh, some of those men that He knew before He we, uh, we were in our mother's womb, so to speak, man. Okay. You know. All right. We want to be those uh, preordained for salvation, man. Preordained to be crowned, man. Okay. You know, the vessels of honor. Yeah, that's right, bro. All right. Can we read that one more time, bro? This is uh, Sirach, or Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 12. And we were talking about benefits also. I should start up earlier. It says, The fear of the Most High Yahweh maketh a merry heart, uh -huh. and giveth joy and gladness. And why are you joy and gladness? Because all the evil is going to uh, 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 depart from you, man. Okay? It's not going to touch you as we read earlier, man. Okay? You know? Like I said, this perks to fearing the God of the Bible. Okay? Our people don't want to fear the Lord. They just want to love the Lord. No. To truly love the Lord, you have to fear Him, man. All right? Fear his uh, his uh, his wrath, man. Okay, because that's what we fear—the wrath of the heavenly Father, man. All right, you read. God, this is Sirach chapter one verse twelve. It says, "The fear of the Most High Yahweh maketh a merry heart, mm -hmm. and giveth joy and gladness, 
and a long life. And a long life. This this is the perks of fearing the heavenly father, man. Alright? And the only begotten son, Lord Yahweh Shai, because you gotta give his credit too, man. You know? Because ultimately you gotta fear Lord Yahweh Shai because all power was given unto Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? You know, the Heavenly Father bestowed that upon him, man. You know, so you gotta fear Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Alright, we can't forget that because men like the like the uh downplay Lord Yahweh Shai's name, man. Alright? And his his position. He's second in command over all creation, man. You know? So you have to fear him because the, the king the, the first set him up, man. Okay? You know? Verse 13. Whoso fear the most high Yahweh, uh -huh. it shall go well with him at the last. It shall go well with him at the last. He shall be saved. You know? All right, keep on reading. And he shall find favor in the day of his death. He's gonna be blessed, man. All right, because that's what favor means, man. To be blessed, man. All right, which is the elect of the nation of Israel, are blessed at the end of the day. They're favored in the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Why? Because they fear the heavenly Father, man. All right. Read it. By contrast, that's another one. Yeah, go ahead. This is Proverbs chapter one, verse seven. It says, "The fear of the Most High Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge." Uh huh. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. But fools despise wisdom and instruction, man. A fool would despise the fear of the Lord, man. All right? Well, we just read the fear of the Lord make you, makes your heart glad and gives you life. Okay? All right? And that's what our people lack, man. All right? Because when the time of the RFID chief comes, they're not going to fear the Lord. All right? They're going to fear Esau and what he can do unto the bodily flesh, man. All right? Not knowing that the Lord has missiles, ICBM nuclear missiles that burn, as they say, uh, hotter than the surface of the sun, okay? They burn hotter than the surface of the sun, all right? But our people don't want to fear the God of the Bible, man, you know? That's, that's madness, man. But they're going to fear Esau that can do unto them right now, man, all right? Instead of fearing what can happen unto them later, all right? Is it? Is it? All right, this on verse? This is the book of Isaiah 31 and verse 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help uh -huh. and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. Now you trust in Egypt, which America's modern day Egypt, man. Modern day Egypt, Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah, okay? Because they they hold up all the customs of Egypt, all the gods, right? And Sodom and Gomorrah because they practice sodomy and all the abominations that Sodom and Gomorrah got destroyed for, man. You know? So, hey man, this place is uh, uh, Egypt. So if you go down to Egypt for help, which our people are doing right now with the stimulus package, man, mm -hmm. you know? They're going down to Egypt, wanting in that money, uh, asking Esau to, uh, to uh, revive the economy and stuff, man, okay? You're going down to uh, Egypt for help, while brothers, brothers might be out of a job, but we're praying to the Lord and having faith that the Lord's gonna take care of us, man, you know? But that only happens to those that fear the God of the Bible, man. Time. Continuing on, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, uh -huh. neither seek the Lord. They don't look unto Yahweh Shema Shai for help, okay? All right, that's who we're looking unto for us to help, man, all right? We're looking unto Yahweh Shema Shai to help us, man, all right? Not man, okay? All right, because man can wither away, but the power of the Lord never withers, man, you know? It's always strong, man. That's okay? right, that's right. All right, you know, sending his angels to save the elect, man, you know? All right? Khan. Uh, I'm gonna skip down to verse 3. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Isaiah 30, 31 and 3. Now the Egyptians are men and not power. Uh -huh. And their horse is flesh and not spirit. Yeah, we just said that in the spirit, man. Yep. Men, they're only but flesh, man. All right? They can only do, but do so much. But our Heavenly Father, He's the omnipotent power. He's all powerful, man. There's nothing that the Lord cannot do. Okay? You know, He can do anything and everything, man. Get you out of the most. Uh, what they call sticky situations where it looks like you have no hope, you know? This is the power that we serve, man. That's right. So this is, the, this is why you should fear him, all right, and, and, and uh, 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 do what he delights in, man, because if you are, you will be defended, man, you know? You know, matter of fact, your brother get uh, second, uh, not second, uh, Ecclesiasticus 2 and drop down a verse of these, like, uh, 13 or 14, when it tells you what happens if you don't uh, uh, trust in the Lord, man. All right, because if you fear Yahweh by Shema Shai, that trust is going to come because yeah. you already know he's going to defend you, man. Right? I'll start at 13, actually 12. Yeah. This is uh, Sirach chapter 2, verse 12. It says, Woe be to fearful hearts uh -huh. and faint hands. Yeah, fearful heart and faint hands, man. All right? You're, fe you're fearful in the sight of Esau, but not knowing the Lord set this man up, the Lord is going to take him down, man. All right? 
the Lord is the one that can protect you from Esau Edom, man. That's right. You know? But you fear Esau and not the Lord, man. Okay? And the woe unto you, death and destruction, man. All right? Can we read it? This is uh, Sirach chapter 2, verse 12. It says, Woe be to fearful hearts uh -huh. and faint hands, okay. and the sinner that goeth two ways. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, a double minded man is unstable Thank in all his ways. You know, you got men or, and women who say they believe in this truth, believe in the Lord, but are panicking right now, man. Okay? You know? They clearly bold, they, they say, Oh, I believe in Yahweh Shai, but they're panicking right now and, you know, under fear, man. You know? If you keep on having that spirit, man, it's going to be woe well unto you, death and destruction, man. You know? Because you truly don't believe in the power of the Lord, man. You know? You, you, you're you uh, uh, showing the front, man. You know? Yeah, you want to say something? Oh, uh, yeah. I was just going to say, like, you know, the, the Shar, the head Shar, Kassab made a video to beware of the overly compliant. That's right. And you can see who who truly who truly has their faith in who. And I've said it before because you see the people who are willingly already wearing masks out here before it's made mandatory, man. So you can tell they actually fear what Esau, whatever comes out of Esau's mouth. That's right. You know? That's right. What these governors say, like if you don't, the fines or the, going to prison, they fear Esau, man. Well, you see, the men of the Lord been out here for weeks, you know, during this quarantine without masks, man. Yeah. Because while we we believe, according to the scripture, I believe it's in Psalms that the pestilence shall not come towards our dwelling places, man. Yeah. You know, if we fear the Lord, man. You know. things that come with fearing the God of the Bible. I got it, bro. Go yeah, uh, Psalms chapter 91 and Salakia. Verse Salakia. Yep, yeah, verse 10. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. Whoa. Right. <laughs> hey, Whoa. man. Salakia, brother, yeah. you're going to say the same thing, the Spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, for he shall give it. Why? Read it up again. Read it again. Con. Psalms 91 and 10. There shall. I'm going to start at 9. Uh -huh. Because thou hast made the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, which is my refuge, uh -huh. even the most high thy habitation. For thou hast made him thy refuge. Okay? We put all what? Honor and glory to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. praises to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Therefore, right. we acknowledge that he is our what? Our Savior. That's right. Okay? That we can go to him and be safe. That's right. All right? By, by way of his son, by the way. Taking that chip because you're gonna get that aspect too, some balance of things. But then when they see that guillotine, all right, or some people say guillotine, okay, when they see that coming, then the first person to get their head chopped off, they're gonna be like, oh my god, I don't want, I don't want to go through that, and they're gonna change their tune. Okay, but, but us, we, be we we believe exactly what is written in the scriptures. That's right. The men of old went through uh, uh, the same and yet worse. That's right. All right. So now we're coming into those times of what? Where they're going to try that stuff again. That's right. Okay. But we got to What does the scripture say? Be thou faithful unto what? Unto, unto death. death. That's right. See? All right. Go ahead. Yeah, come on. Psalms 91 and 10. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy and dwelling. It, and it shouldn't because you have the prophets out here prophesying to you of this right. and what to do. That's right. All right. The watchmen prophesy what in, in great countries and uh, what in great kingdoms of war and of what and of evil, right? And of pestilence. So you're getting prepared, all right, by the prophets. That's right. Okay. That's right. And guess what? The prophets are not only are we telling you and giving you the warning, we're giving you what to do. That's the benefits of the heavenly Father. That's right. Okay. What are you going to do to shield yourself from this? To shield yourself from getting hit in the face by truth and all that. Going to pray to how about Shimia was shot? That's right. All right, go ahead. No, so this, this is a call to what? Read, uh, read it out. Con. Psalms 91 and 10. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Uh -huh. 
for he shall give his angels charge over thee, uh -huh. to keep thee in all thy ways. And he's only going to give his angels charge over you if you're the righteous. That's right. That's right. He shall give it, he shall give his angels charge. So guess what? If you make the Heavenly Father and the Son your refuge, okay, guess what? He's going to make his angels surround you during those times. I.e., remember, remember, <laughs> the angels are also a part of what? The Holy Spirit system. That's right. Oh, yeah. They come down upon you and what? Give you spiritual power. Because it was directed by Yahweh Shemuel Shai to do so. You see? So not only are the angels going to physically appear, you see different things, also give you spiritual power to get you out of situations, man. Okay? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Yeah, yeah come on. Psalms. Script, the scriptures, the scriptures appear. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Psalms 91, verse 12. They shall bear thee up in their hands. Uh-huh. Let's. Ahead. Lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Which you know what? Which that's a prophecy for what? Yahweh shot. Alright? That because at any time the angels could have what? Could have came and delivered Yahweh shot. Yeah. Alright? But what? He had to uh, suffer what for Israel's sake. He had to do what the Heavenly Father required of him. Alright, so that was a prophecy. What when Satan tried to tempt him? You see? But also, guess what? Read it again. Con. Psalms 91 and 12. Huh? They shall bear thee up in their hands. Lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. And guess what? The angels are going to be sent what, to protect Israel. That's right. The elect of Israel. That's right. All right? So we're reading these things to you to prepare your mind, all right? And to hopefully lead you towards the right path towards the Heavenly Father and having faith so that you'll be all right. That's right. That's right. That's why, that's why brothers constantly keep coming out every week. Repetition. That's repetition. Right. Repetition. You know, keep you this word. Even though all this is going on, you still have the word coming to you. Hey, man, get right, get right, get right. You still have it. The Lord's still reaching out. But it's going to be a time when his hand's going to be away, man. And you don't want his hand to be away during these times. A time like never before, man. Even it was in Daniel, the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter. It's even in uh, Matthew when Yahweh Shai spoke about it. A time like never before. That's right. Okay? Go ahead. Continue. Mm -hmm. Psalms 91 and 13. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and uh -huh. adder. That, that was the point. You got the other one, the Psalms? See, you held, held on to it. Uh, it's the 101. Psalms, Psalms 103. Yeah. 103. Yeah. And 10. 103 and 1. 103 and 1. Come on, come on. Yeah. This is Psalms chapter 103, verse 1. It says, uh, Bless the Most High Yahweh, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. See that? So like our forefathers did, we all did. That's right. See? We're making Yahweh Shai our reference. Okay, go ahead. Verse 2. Bless the Most High Yahweh, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Hey, look, and forget not all his benefits. Right. Remember, the major benefit is what? Your salvation. That's right. That's right. Your, your salvation and deliverance from everything. Everything that's what? That's evil. Okay, everything that's what? Meant to harm us. Okay, these are the benefits. Okay, go ahead. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities. Who forgiveth all your iniquities, therefore leading us to be that elect, to make it, because the ones that are looked at as sinners are not going to make it. So if you've been wicked, you're going to be caught up in the stuff that Esau's bringing down. You see? The other day we, uh, you know, I was driving around, and I took a, I took a video, all right, of the troops up there by FedEx Stadium. Oh, yeah. And that emblem that was on the side of the truck, I know that emblem very well. That was the Air Force emblem on the side of the truck right there. And it could be mixtures of other people out there as well, other forces. But right there, yeah, like Dabu7 said on the one video they were setting up, that's true. I seen them. We got it on video. If you keep being wicked, guess what? The troops that are stationed there are going to be turned on you. Who knows what they could be there for now because Esau likes to play. Set the troops up. They can be set up for what? Uh, humanitarian efforts that's helped people. It's the coronavirus that's the And then later on, repurpose them to what? Go destroy enemies that are domestic, right? They swore to defend against all enemies, foreign and domestic. So now they'll come against enemies that are uh, what? Domestic. And if you're not right with the Heavenly Father, you're going to have these people coming down as a flood on you. That's said the scriptures, man. All right, you got it? Now read it again out. This is Psalms chapter 103, verse 3. Uh -huh. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Uh -huh. who, who, healeth, who healeth all your diseases. So if you have any type of pestilence that's coming, all right, or you know, and not just if you have it, 
He'll, he'll protect you from getting it. You see? That's if you what? Make the Heavenly Father your refuge, like your brother says, man. You gotta, you gotta give up, you gotta give up smoking, man. Alright? You gotta give up eating all these abominable foods, man. You gotta give up drugs. You gotta give up sleeping with your homeboy's woman, man. Sleeping with another man's woman, you gotta stop that, man. You know, women that got men, because it goes to the woman too. You gotta stop sleeping around with other dudes when you got a man at home, man. Lying and stuff, man. You see? That's wickedness, man. That's right. Stop dressing like skanks and hoes, all right? right? And therefore, the Heavenly Father gives you your judgment when you do that. He has people come and take you, i.e. rape you, man. Rape you according to Esau's definition and not the real definition, you see? They'll rape you according to that way, okay? All right? Go ahead, Ock. Psalms be. chapter 103, verse 4. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth hey. thee with love and kindness and tender Look at mercy. that. Look at that. Who, who redeemeth thy life from what? Destruction. From destruction. So if he, yeah. so look, if he's the one that's doing this, or that can do this, you gotta call upon him. That's right. But more importantly, you have to believe that he's capable of doing this. That's right. That's right. These people here are scared of man. That's why these people's reasoning is, is all over the place, man. Because they are scared of the so-called white man. And when you look at it, the ones that are out of their minds and scared of the so-called white man is the same people that love the so-called white man. We fear the Lord, therefore we love the Lord, right? They fear Esau, therefore they love Esau, right? Same people. Well, well, God don't think God hates all. Can they make it? See? It's that love of Esau. You see? That fear comes with that love, man. Because you loving what? You keeping Esau's commandments, right? You got to fear what? And keep... The Heavenly Father's commandment, that's the love, man. That's right. You see? He'll redeem you from COVID-19. These right. biological weapons that were produced. That's right. Because, yes, and once again in Australia, and probably other places as well, okay? In Australia, they have recreated the COVID-19 virus. Wow. Recreated. How do you recreate it? Damn. You know? He, he really is, he really is the uh, 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 mad son. He's the, uh, he's the smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't the scriptures. He's yeah. the smith. Oh, All right, go ahead. I got a uh, uh, definition. Go ahead. Uh, the spirit is keeping on coming out. It's the reason, which, you know, going to the fear, you lose reasoning. It says reason or reasoning, it means uh, to reckon or understand mm -hmm. motive or cause. It says to... Uh, uh, it says to reason to count. It says um, meaning uh, a degree of intelligence that distinguishes men from from the brutish beast. Uh, yeah, you lose all understanding, basically. You know, and you lose all uh, all fault. And when somebody is fearful, their 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 thoughts are scatter uh, become scatterbrained, so to speak. You know, you don't know what to do. You know. But oh it, oh oh no! Go ahead go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Got, got, you know so. But with the fear of Esau, okay, you know, coming in, uh, uh, you know, doing you, you know, gunning you down or whatever that Esau is promoting right now, because also he has uh, what's called Humvees, and people are seeing these Humvees and stuff. They're getting scared of Esau, Edom, but what, meanwhile, the men of the Lord, we still fear Yahweh by Shai, because you know, we know the Lord is the one that's able to protect you or, or, or have these troops go down on you, man, you know, so to speak, man. You know? Well, what, was, what, was the, what was the definition again? Oh, it says uh, reason. It says um, it says to reckon, to understand, motive, cause. It says um, it says reason, sanity, yep. a degree of intelligence that distinguishes men from from Brutus. Bru yeah, yeah, Brutus beast. Bru Thank you. That, that that reasoning what distinguishes man from what beast, right? Brutus beast, right? Yeah, I'm not mistaken, it, right? It says brutes to be exact. Right. Brutes. What do you say beast too as well? Uh, no, but when you read brutes, it goes into it. It goes into it. Yeah, it goes into it. This is uh, Psalms 73, because if it said that on top of that, like, man, you know? <laughs> it's Psalm 73 and 22. So foolish was I and ignorant, I was as a beast before thee. All right? So guess what? You looked at as a beast in the beast state of mind foolish and ignorant. Okay? Remember the remember the rest the rest of uh, the other nations or what? Should really be looked at as beasts. Yeah. Okay? 
I remember that's what separated us from the animals. Right? Going back to the time of Genesis, right? Right? Let, let us make man in our image. What do we get? The law, statutes, commandments. We got the understanding from the Heavenly Father. Remember, that separated us from the beast. Remember, uh, man was created on the fifth day. He wasn't created on the sixth day. He was created on the fifth day. And you learn that when you go to 2nd Ezra, the sixth chapter. When it talks about uh, um, uh, Enoch, Enoch, which means learned man, he was created when you had the sea creatures created. Okay? But then on the sixth day, remember it's a period of a thousand years, right? On the sixth day, they said, let us make man in our image. You see? Man was already there. Now let's give man what? Understanding. You see, and that truly separates us from the beast. That separates us from this, the uh, spiritual beast, which are these heathen. That's right. Because they're not actual beast, but you get it, they're beast in their mind. You see, they eat all the nasty foods and stuff that another animal can eat. Yeah. A goddamn gook is eating bats. Eating cats, eating everything else under the sun that another animal would do. We don't do that because we have a power that tells us what we should do and what we should not do. All right? That'll be our wisdom in the sight of the nations, which are nothing but a bunch of goddamn beasts, man. That's right. All right? Yeah, Bob the shot. This is Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5. It says, Behold, I have That's taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Most High Yahweh my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land where ye go to possess it. Uh -huh. Keep, therefore, and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation. You know, and it's exactly, it's our wisdom and understanding in the sight of the nations, man. That's why you know it's not going to happen. Because all Israel is not going to come together on this side and praise the Lord. That's right. But the Lord is saying if that were to happen, guess what? We would be delivered, man. But see, that just lets you. Uh, now read, read that again. Read that again, Babaka This is Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 6. It uh -huh. says, Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation. If all Israel were to keep the laws to the best of their ability, the other nations would be astonished, man. Look, we're looked at as a what? Uh, 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 a proverb and a byword, the lowest on the planet Earth, right? Yes. Imagine if all our women, you know, they kept their hair. All right, because part of that scab and being smitten with a crown, a uh, scab on their crown, is what they're being ignorant to these chemicals, man. Some women, not only did the Heavenly Father curse a lot of our women naturally, He cursed them in their mind. Because some women can grow their hair, and then what? They went and got that poison in their hair, and it never grew back since. Now imagine if our women, right? And we just talking about that low of an aspect. If they wore dresses, man. Okay? And it was modest. And it was humble. Imagine if they backed their man and everything. Listen to what he said, man. Kept the kids in the room. Okay? Imagine if your brother, that you know, going to the ghettos and stuff like that, different locations. Imagine if you had to worry about them coming into your house or stealing from you, man. Imagine. Imagine everybody says Shalom to each other. Call on your Havashim Yahushai. You know? Eating, not eating anything that the heathen are selling. As far as uh, things that are unlawful. Imagine all Jake's doing this on his son. The world be like, damn. Like, they really separate. They don't deal with it except for when it's business wise. And damn, they're like, they're like a king's new people. The world be shocked. And you know that based off the little examples that's on the earth. Look at the different time periods. Look at the 90s era. Why do you think people was mesmerized by Jake back then? Because Jake was booming in that time. The style is closed. That's why you've seen a lot of interracial couples, a lot of interracial couples during that time too. Right? Because Jake was doing good. You know when Jake is doing bad and the times are looking rough like now, people don't, they look down with some more people with that. But when we on top, when we fly, you see the other nations want to be with him. You see? It's even on a low level. So imagine all Israel being like that, man. You see? It's too much. It's too much to even think about right now in this flesh on this side. That's why we need to be in the 